university got involved with the Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation almost close to four years ago now. We were approached by George and Tom and other members of the foundation. Mary Hawkins and the board said, absolutely, we'll do what we can. Bellevue University was so helpful when we first got started. You know, we knew we had to get a web page and uh, Lisa Jorgensen, she said, well, we have some people. John Bunger, who works with Brian in design and development, helped create a, a video walkthrough from flat schematics of the project and put it to life in animation. We've got Brian Keir from the design and development department who helps manage uh, their website. He actually created it. JR is working to get the word out about Project Share Your Story. If you are a Vietnam veteran, we would love for you to contact us to tell my story. By 2030, probably at least 50% of the Vietnam veterans that are alive today will be deceased. And it's important for us to get their stories down. You know, we have family members who watch an interview and they say, I never knew that about my dad. I never knew that about my, my grandpa. So if someone has any kind of veteran or that they want to honor, they can purchase a memorial tile and those will be displayed at the memorial permanently. We have three different types of tiles. I mean, they're all the same tile, but the first one is you just get a name and the service dates that the person was in. I think that's $200. Second one, I think, and for $250 you get the yep. name and the service and a picture. And for $300 you get the name, a service, picture, and a QR code, which you can then write a story about that particular individual. Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial will be unique among memorials, mainly because we're, we're doing a really heavy back end on education. At the physical side of the memorial, we're incorporating QR codes at the obelisks or at the helicopter. So when a visitor comes, they can scan that QR code and it will take them to additional information that will be housed on our website. For each obelisk is set up for each year of the war. So you've got 11 obelisks what is going on in Vietnam in, say, 1968, and then what was going on in the United States in 1968. So it's a kind of a walking history of what went on during the entire war. At the time we had this design, we did not have an honor wall on the front with the names of the KIAs, but this was uh, donated by a, a gentleman up in Norfolk, Nebraska, who wanted very much to have a black wall with the KIA names on it, so that was put up at the head of the monument. So the project's future right now as we're taping this, we are uh, starting actual construction at the site. We have granite that was mined in Vermont being delivered as we speak. So by June 6, 2024, the memorial will be open for, for visitors and, and business. The site of the memorial is located south of 108th and 370. So you'll have the Papillion La Vista South High School, Sumter Amphitheater, and there's room to grow there in case the project needs to grow anymore. The other thing that this has led, led us to is for what we call a phase two, which we will actually build an education center. And in that we want to have a small amphitheater where students can come and, and have a history of the war and film tour guides and people that can talk about it, take them out and show them the various things. The foundation will need to kind of transition from capital campaign mode, which it's been in since its inception, and move to maintenance and sustainability. And uh, We still have a couple hundred thousand to raise in order to cover things like signage and other contingency things, but we are definitely on the way to being a complete and visitable memorial by June. As the university, we should all be very proud that we work at an institution that says we're going to invest in the community. Our purpose here is to make sure that that physical site is living and breathing in a way so that when visitors come, they'll understand the significance of the Vietnam War.